right, fellas, I apologize, so we're going to have to do one more take here because I realized that ArcSoft had uh, crashed on me right there at the end at a part where you guys really needed to see what was going on. So I deleted the old one, and we're going to tell you, do this tutorial here, how to set up XBMC on Ouya to stream from Windows PC and stream Hulu as well. Um, this is basically setting up your your new Ouya console as a media center for you to uh, watch from one of your servers. You can also make it a server. It's pretty simple to do with XBMC. I can go into detail on that at another time. Um, it will require a separate storage drive because there's only 8 gigabytes on this at this point in time. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to xbmc.org slash download and you're going to start downloading the Android version of this and save it here. Mine is already there so I'll just go to downloads and I'll show you that right here. Make sure it's the .apk, that will be the Android format that you are looking for. Then you're going to take a an Android mini USB that comes typically, it does not come with the console, but it comes with your Android devices, it's the same charger type deal, but you're going to want to make sure there's the USB, you'll plug the mini USB into the console and the USB 2.0 part into your PC. At that point what will happen is you can scroll down here and you'll see the Ouya console pop up. You'll go into internal storage, into download, and you'll drag and drop the APK into the download folder. Oh, I got a open containing folder. I apologize, so I go to my downloads folder and drag and drop it into the Ouya console itself. Here, I will show you. So you will go to xbmc.org slash download, click download the Android, you'll get the file, show all downloads, open containing folder, and you will take the xbmc and drag it into your, you will go to your Uya console, internal storage, download, and drag and drop it into here. Once that APK file is in there, you're going to go to your Ouya console. There's the link for that one right there. I will put the links in the comment section below so you can check it out there. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Ouya console. And we'll switch over here. And you are going to... There's another way you can do this. It's a little easier if you uh, are not going to do Hulu then, and you don't need the USB cable at this point. You can actually go to um, Make. You can go to Software and the browser will already be installed. And you can go up to your bar here. And Actually, I have it in History. You can go to the um, website from here go to my history real quick um, there it is right there and you can actually download it directly from here you click it and it'll automatically download for you um, once you've done that exit browser go back and you're going to go to manage and you're going to go to system advanced you're going to go down to storage and you're going to go down to downloads. Under downloads, you're going to select the XBMC you want. I say that. And you're going to click it, and then you're going to say, OK. I already have this installed, so we're not going to do that at this point. Um, we are probably going to delete these a little later, because I have done this three times now. Um, It'll install, it takes about five minutes. Once that's done, I recommend rebooting the console. At that point, you will go back to the main screen and you will click Make. On Make, you will click Software 
and you will have the XBMC option that you see here on the second option below the browser. You'll boot that up. The first boot will take, um, will have a loading and it and it'll load out for you guys. And then you'll have your nice little interface here. There are a lot of new different UIs that you can choose from. Um, if you go into your system settings um, for the purpose of the tutorial this is the standard one that will be loaded on initially when you boot, boot XBMC up for the first time so to get to allow you your uh, the sharing from your PC you're going to open your Windows Media Player and you're going to click Stream and you're going to click Allow Streaming or Start Streaming. It'll be this last one here. Mine just says more streaming options at this point. Under there you'll go through a little wizard and you're going to want to make sure with the OUYA is an unknown device so you're going to want to make sure that you know which unknown device it is and that it's allowed. I have a couple more on here uh, for HTPCs and stuff like that so all of these are allowed and my 360 is allowed and stuff like that. You can click next and you can select what you wish to share. The difference between the setup for the 360 media sharing and the sharing for through XBMC is going to be that you're going to next need to go into your explorer and if you are not already storing your files under music pictures and videos you're going to need to go ahead and add that in the way you do that is you right click click properties click add and then just browse through and select whatever folder of music video or pictures that you want added into there apply and click OK once you've done that you'll go back to your <coughs> Ouya console doo -doo -doo. and you will click videos you'll click files and you'll click add video add video source you will browse and you're going to select UPnP device and you'll see your computer there at that point you can select your computer for videos you'll select videos all videos and go down here and click OK and at that point you can change your name down the name of the media source if you want to so it doesn't look all cluttered like that and you'll click OK mine's already added so I'll click cancel there and we will go into then it'll pop up in here and you can click on it and all your videos will be added in there and then you have your basic controls here and everything else <laughs> some other valuable things as far as right. recording, stopping, there's kept closed captioning, all that sort of stuff. At that point you're done with that and you will go back to your deal and you will just rinse and repeat for your music. So you go to music, add source, browse, UPnP, devices, and you click music. All artists, OK. Rename it, click OK. At that point you'll be able to select your server and play your music. Just like that. Hey guys, it's Jeremy. And then this is a free promo mix. Go back, go home. I accidentally exited. That's what I get for selecting that. Anyways, we'll go back into the program, make an XBMC. And you can rinse and repeat with your pictures. Add source, browse, UPNP. your server you'll click pictures all pictures OK and you will 
we'll click OK there. I'll click Cancel. Mine's already added. Then you can scroll up. You'll see your pictures all here. And you can scroll through them. Dun 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 dun. And you got all your pictures there. You can also use these to make cool backgrounds and different stuff like that if you wish. So that's how you set up the media server to check out your. Um, that's how you set up the media server um, for your OUYA to stream pictures, music, and videos from your Windows PC. Uh, you can also do it with a Mac. I do have that set up. That requires a little more setup, and I can go over that in a later video. Next thing I want to show you guys, and this will be the last part here, is how to set up Hulu on the XBMC. So we're going to go back here and we are going to go to the desktop um, you're going to go to this website here which I will definitely link in the links below because it's super long and you will unsave this I already have it saved we'll go to open containing folder and you will drag and you'll go down to your OUYA console again internal storage download I have two of those in there, delete one of those yeah. and you will take the repository and drop it right there we don't need this anymore and that will be the zip file now this is going to be a little different before what we did after we did this is we installed it through the actual uh, OUYA Android interface for the APK. This is a repository standalone for the XBMC so what you're going to end up doing and I'll show you here is you're going to go back to your console go back to the OUYA you're going to boot up your XBMC and you're going to go to system add-ons install from zip file you're going to go to root file system you're going to go to SD card download repository and it'll install it. It'll take a little bit of time here it's already installed so basically it's just enabling it. At that point you'll reboot your XBMC and then after you reboot and get back to the start screen you'll go back into system you'll go to add-ons you'll click get add-ons and you'll click blue cop add-on re repository um, and mine's not added right now so I will probably have to because I will have to reboot because I accidentally reinstalled it yay so I'm gonna have to go out and reboot this so I'll go down to power it's just right here exit it'll go back here um, I think I had to do a hard reset last time but we're not going to do that this time because I'm hoping it won't make me so like I said system add-ons get add-ons blue cop once you have that you can go to your videos add-ons and Hulu you actually have to enable Hulu under the add-ons list, but mine's already enabled. Um, but that should be pretty self-explanatory. And at this point, you can just browse Hulu like you have on everything else. Um, if you have uh, a, a Hulu account, I will also show you where you can log in there. And there you go. We have the live stream of the office on your Ouya through Hulu. Fantastic. Sometimes it takes a little bit to open the stream because of the ads and stuff. You will get the ads and everything else is a completely legal copy that you can use. Uh, there's no problems with it. Um, if you wanted to set your information for your add-ons on that video add-ons Hulu and you 
will configure Hulu login, Hulu username, and password. And then it will have your Hulu Plus on there. So that's how you set all that up. Um, if you guys have any questions, post it in the comments below and I'll try to help you out. Currently, there is not a Netflix um, add on for the Android devices, but there is a workaround, but that's going to be a little bit more in depth and will be an entirely separate video to show you guys how to do that workaround for Netflix. Um, that's because they do have a DRM that is not um, compatible with the open source of Android at this point, so we're going to have to wait on that. Um, also, there's some cool stuff in here as far as whole bunches of add-ons. Um, you can uh, already it comes with the xbmc.org add-ons, um, tons of skin services. Uh, they even have a lot of video add-ons. I think Day Nine even has his own channel in here. Um, let's check it out. I believe he does. Yeah, day 9tv archive, um, DMAX, uh, Dr. Dish TV, Ebloms World, ESPN, all that fun good stuff. Uh, Fox News, G4, um, pretty cool stuff. So you can add all those in, just kind of follow the same things you do with the Hulu add on. Um, at this point, all you gotta do is click, click, and you're good to go. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna be back in probably about. I want to say about 15, 20 minutes, something like that, and at that point we are going to do a um, a disassembly of the Ouya console and the controller. It'll be a blind disassembly, so I have no idea what I'm doing. It should be pretty fun. We'll try to make it fun, and we're going to see what's actually inside this machine um, and see what it looks like. So tune back in for that give me about 15 or 20 minutes and we will be back and thanks for watching guys